more shock drops are coming we're gonna talk about the next two let's go what's good y'all man it is your boy sniper kicks in today's video man it is going to be a banger we're gonna talk about up upcoming releases we're gonna talk about some shoes that have been restocking or going to restock and we're gonna talk about shock drop you already know you guys love shock drops we're gonna talk about the next two but before we get into the video guys you already know make sure you are subscribed to the channel make sure you smash that like button and of course hit that notification bell on because you already know i'm gonna help you guys cop shoes for retail and give you the 411 on sneaker information man jd sports and finish line have been on a roll so this morning we got the yeezys the yeezys the yeezys then we got slides as well this morning let me know in the comment section below if you were able to cop the yeezys this morning on top of that jd sports and finish line yesterday had black canvas fours on its site I saw people that were able to cop that sneaker. And on top of that, JD Sports and Finish Line in store, they have been getting black canvases. They've been getting midnight navies. They've been just getting some random heat. And again, in my Discord, we do have that in-store pings that notify people what is going on in store. And golly, I don't know if it was a late shipment or a lost shipment, but Finish Line has been getting hitters. On top of that, a lot of people in my Discord have been hitting on the silver corduroy dunks. And I'm going to post some pictures right here. A lot of people have been cooking. That is a very, very nice dunk. And JD Sports and Finish Line, that's the spot right there. They have been getting a bunch of stuff. So Foot Locker does not want to sell Yeezys because it feels like it's going to hurt its image. But overall, Finish Line's like, hey, Yeezy, come over here. We're going to sell your product and they are making a killing off that on top of that today there was a restock on some more yeezys and some new yeezys on the confirmed app so if you haven't checked already make sure you go on your confirmed app i'm gonna put a picture up right here so guys they are going to restock the 700 wave runners that is by far my favorite yeezy of all time and they are coming back as you guys know adidas and kanye are back in action and they've been selling a ton of yeezys but after after Yeezys are sold out, they will not be coming back. So if you want Yeezys, make sure you tap into your stores. Make sure you tap into the confirmed app so you are able to cop Yeezys. On top of that, we are getting the Union Jordan 1 very soon. Very soon. And I know when you hear Union and Jordan 1, you feel like there's going to be a bunch of hype. But not by surprise, there isn't that much hype on this Jordan 1 Union. So it's called the Woven or the Summer of 96. They are on the sneakers app. They're loaded for the 26. And overall, there won't be a ton of pairs of that sneaker on the sneakers app. Your best bet is going to be on the Union website. And I talked about it in my last video. They do a great great job on bot protection and if you're able to get in do all those little things you will have a great chance to cop the jordan one union summer of 96 i will cop that shoe for retail resell i will not be copying it i don't believe there's going to be a ton of resell on that shoe because it's not an everyday shoe a lot of people can't wear that shoe there's just a huge mark in the middle of the shoe just keep it simple on top of that we are getting the jordan 4 frozen moments this month and a lot of nikes have been getting this sneaker so guys there will probably be a sneakers pass if not there's going to be a first come first serve at several nikes for the jordan 4 frozen moments so the jordan 4 frozen moments is a women's exclusive and it only goes up to size 12 women's which is a 10 and a half so as big size people you're not going to be able to cop that sneaker and i am also pissed on jordan brand that we will not be getting extended sizes on the jordan 1 set and breads overall the set and breads in men's size Sizes are going for thousands of dollars and it would have been dope if we were able to get pairs for big size people but overall it is a women's shoe so we cannot blame jordan brand but that just made me very very disgruntled because i wanted those jordan one set and breads in a size 13. also guys we are getting more kobe's as you guys know August 23rd, we are getting the all-white Kobe's, the Halo Kobe's, and overall, man, those are okay. I know they got new technologies. I know there was a sneaker live talking about Kobe's are back. If I can get these sneakers for retail on Mamba Day, 
please let me get these for retail on Mamba Day. I will be super happy. There will also be a sneakers pass as well. It is going to be LA and probably New York, but Kobe's are back. We have a lot of Kobe's that are slated for 2024. So if you're a big Kobe fan, I use them for hooping. That's why I want to get them. But if you're a big Kobe fan, you will have a lot more Kobe's that are coming now. And the University of Kentucky got a Kobe deal. They are the first university to get sponsored by Kobe. And man, they're going to get the craziest Kobe PEs that I've ever seen. If you're sponsored by Kobe, you're going to get some crazy PEs. And overall, man, that means there's going to be a lot more Kobe. The team is sponsored by the Kobe brand, and I am looking forward to that. Guys, let me know in the comment section below, what is your best Kobe of all time? Mine is the Grinches. Those reverse Grinches are going to be super dope. Rumor is there's supposed to be a ton of pairs of those reverse Grinches. I'm hoping that Kobe's go back to Foot Lockers, go back to Champs, like go back to these stores, and they're not just limited. Make them big general releases, kind of like Jordan brand. Because Kobe's brand is very hyped right now now unfortunately because he passed away but they are one of the best hoop and shoes of all time also there has been a couple sneakers that hit the full locker app yes it's in illinois but they have a couple sneakers on there i'll put them up right here and again none of these sneakers have any hype but as you guys know jordan brand never sells out nike never sells out and i'm telling you right now on sneakers day we will be getting a lot of the sneakers that we have seen before recently that they said they sold out on. If you haven't watched my previous video, I talked about some sneakers that I believe that are gonna be on Sneakers Day. One of them was the Jordan 3 White Cement Reimagined. I believe that sneaker is going to be the Jordan 4 Thunder. That shoe is going up in price, the Jordan 1 UNC Toe. That shoe right there, a very dope shoe. So we're gonna get a lot of those types of sneakers on the Nike Sneakers Day, but overall, you never know. If you get the Jordan 1 Lost and Bounds, on my short that I put that the Jordan Lost and Founds is continue to hit Nike outlets. This has happened in the past months and I talked about it. There's even more Nike outlets that have been receiving the Jordan 1 Lost and Found. So guys, be prepared for sneakers today. It is September 9th. I will let you guys know what is going on and I will know what shoes that will be dropping the week of September 9th and the stock so be ready on that so now let's talk about shock drops as you guys know nike been really pushing the shock drops and what nike has also done nike is letting people know when the shock drops are about to go down so they're not a shock drop they're marketing as a shock drop but they're giving people like a 20 minute head start because you're like man guys like sniper kids people youtubers already telling people that there's going to be a shock drop why don't us as nike just let everybody know that there is going to be a shock drop so at the end of the day nike can do do whatever Nike wants to do. But the next two shock drops that are probably going to happen is the Jordan 8 playoffs again. That is an OG colorway. That is one of the sneakers that Nike is going to really market for the end of the summer. I believe it releases September 30th. And don't be surprised we get a shot drop late August, early September on this sneaker right here. Again, OG colorway Jordan 8 playoffs. Very nice shoe. Nike has been really pushing shot drops. And it is genius on Nike's end because Nike is making big money even before the shoe releases and is making the shoe sell out because you already know when a shot drop comes most likely that shoe is going to sell out on the shock drop then it's going to have this regular release and then you go from there so it's the jordan 8 playoffs another shoe i believe that is going to shock drop is the jordan 12 cherries that is a big time release for nike overall we haven't seen the jordan 12 cherries in over a decade that's a shoe that jordan actually wore and that shoe is going to be a sell out and we haven't seen it in a very long time you already know nike is going to push this shoe out and there will probably be a shot drop on this sneaker. There will be a ton of pairs. Again, it is genius on Nike's end to make a shot drop, sell his pair, make his money, have the original release, make more money. And that's Nike's plan that they've been doing. Think about what Nike has done. They did it with the Jordan 4 Thunders. They did it with the Jordan 1 Spider-Verse. They did a restock of the Jordan 1 Lost and Founds. They did it with the Jordan 4 Red Cement. They did it with the Jordan 1 University Blue Toe. They did it with the UNC to Chicago Lowe's. 
they are really pushing the shock drops and don't be surprised the next shock drops that we see is the Jordan 8 playoffs in the Jordan 12 cherries guys let me know in the comment section below which one do you like more the Jordan 8 playoffs or the Jordan 12 cherries right there let me know let me know both OG colorways really do appreciate you guys for watching this video just want to give you guys some quick updates and what is going on in the sneaker realm I really looking forward to some more Kobe's that's what I'm really excited for but we are getting two OG colorways pretty soon in September and October and overall we will probably get shot drops on both sneakers I will let you guys know if it's actually gonna happen and the dates but I am super excited for those really do appreciate you guys you already know sniper kicks out peace